listen, these days, more than ever, we have been getting a ton of superhero gaming content. We have Marvel's Spider-Man from Insomniac Games, and they're now going to be carrying that on and having Marvel's Wolverine come out at some point in the next year or so. Rocksteady is back, and regardless of what you think, they're going to be continuing their Arkhamverse with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which is now slated to be dropping in February of next year. And then we just recently had a new entry in the Batman mythos with Gotham Knights, and then also Monolith, the people behind the Shadow of Mordor series, are making a Wonder Woman game, which has an unbelievable amount of potential. But there is one superhero that we have been waiting for a long time to see get that same Batman Arkham or Marvel Spider-Man treatment. One hero that truly deserves a damn good game of that caliber. And that is, of course, Superman. But all that might have changed now as David Zaslav, the current CEO right now of Warner Brothers Discovery, might have confirmed that a Superman game is in development and we might end up seeing it in the next couple of years. And I already know that that's a concept that gets you guys incredibly excited because because man does it ever get me excited. And if you are hyped, if you wanna see an open world Superman game, well, let's share the hype together. Scroll down, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get the video here to 3000 likes. But hey, real quick, before we get into the news that I got for you today, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, Wonder. Wonder is just this incredible app that allows you to create these awesome AI generated images. And it's honestly super simple to use. You just type your prompt right up here. You choose a style from one of the many that they have available, and then you tap create and you're good to go, it's gonna create some images for you that you can save to your phone. You can choose a one by one, two by three, or a three by two aspect ratio, depending on how you like it. If you wanna create a phone wallpaper for yourself, that's totally an option that's available. I mean, I was messing around with some really cool Superman prompts of him flying around in space or just standing around in Metropolis, and I think I got some really sweet images out of it, especially when you mess around with some of the different styles that are available. There's, of course, a premium version of Wonder where you have an ad-free experience, and thankfully enough, the folks at Wonder are hooking it up for you guys. If if you head to my link in the description box below right now, you're gonna get a free trial for that premium version of Wonder. So what are you waiting for? Head to that link in the description box below, download Wonder right now, and get to creating some awesome AI generated images. And with that being said, thank you to Wonder for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to the news. Honestly, this is fairly exciting and may confirm a couple of things, or at the very least, create some hope. Very recently, David Zaslav was on the phone going over an earnings call for Q1 of Warner Brothers Discovery, talking about all their facets and all their different departments. And of course, one of those departments under the Warner Brothers Discovery umbrella is gaming, which I feel is currently being underestimated and not anymore, I assume, after what happened with Hogwarts Legacy. But okay, let's go over a little bit about what David Zaslav had said about the gaming division. This comes from TweakDown. They put into text the things that he said over that earnings call. David Zaslav said here, we have a very good gaming business with 11 different studios and real talented capability. But the real differentiator for us as a company is that we own our IP. That IP belongs to us and we're developing it. And in some cases, we may choose to develop it with a third party game technology company. So that's interesting. You know, David Zaslav mentions here that it might not always be potentially the WB game studios that are going to be working on some of the IP that WB owns. And you got to wonder what that could look like, because for the most part, from what we understand, a lot of the superhero related games that are currently on the way that we have coming up from WB games are by their owned studios. You know, Rocksteady is working on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. WB Montreal did Gotham Knights, and now Monolith is working on the Wonder Woman game. So could it be that a Superman game at some point in the future is outsourced to a third-party company? I mean, this is what ended up happening between PlayStation and Insomniac for Spider-Man before PlayStation ended up acquiring Insomniac. So you never know. Some studio out there with some real talented people went over to Warner Brothers and gave them a pitch for a Superman game that they really loved, and they decided, you know what? These are the right guys for the job. Let's see what they do with it. And if it does well enough, let's acquire that studio to do more. But continuing with what David David Zaslav said here in this earnings call. If you look at Hogwarts Legacy, a big piece of the success of that game is that you go into it. If you're a player, you go into that game and you're in that world. That's kind of a new concept. Before it was gaming and it was storytelling, and now it's very difficult to understand what the definition of the metaverse is. Now, I'll be completely honest here. I don't think David Zaslav has too much of an understanding of what he's saying. I, you know, he's a great businessman. Okay, he's doing a good job so far as CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, but a lot of games have transformed transported you into their world. This isn't a new thing from Hogwarts Legacy alone. And I feel like we've been a good decade plus to having games
games that mesh the world of great storytelling and great gameplay together. So again, not some new concept that was brought up by Hogwarts Legacy, but Hogwarts Legacy is definitely a good example of that. Something that really transports you into the world. And hey, if that's what they want to do for Superman, I am all for it. Which now, speaking of, this is kind of the most important part of the conversation. This is the part where we potentially get the information regarding what's happening with a Superman game. David Zaslav says, when we launch a product on Max, dumb name for a streaming service should have just been called HBO Max or HBO. And when we have a game, that game belongs to us. But now there's this in-betweener. It may be in the next couple of years that we launch a Superman movie and people spend more time and there's more economics of people just hanging out in the Superman world and universe. The fact that we own all of that is something that I think is going to be really important as we look forward, as technology develops and given the amount of time that people spend on gaming, we don't want to be in the motion picture and long form storytelling business and have somebody else in the business of hanging out in those worlds. Those worlds are going to be quite profitable in the years ahead. See, that's the smart businessman part that I was talking about because David Zaslav definitely knows what he's saying there. The gaming world and as well what they're doing at W WB games could be huge moving forward. Hogwarts Legacy is definitely a shining example of that. And if they can replicate that level of success with Superman, then holy smokes is WB games going to be the hot commodity. But he says plain and simply there that we may see at some point people spending more time within the Superman world and universe. I think that's awesome. And I would love to be able to get a Superman game at some point in the future. I hope that it's going to be a nice big budget AAA blockbuster open world. Just give me all of it. And I already know you're typing your little comment, Caboose, Superman can't have a game. He's too overpowered. Come on. How close minded can you possibly be to believe that? Literally just Google right now on the Google machine, Superman weaknesses. There's like 600 of them. Matter of fact, here, let me just give you the pitch. The main villain of the next Superman game is Metallo and he has an army of Metallo bots and they're all fused with kryptonite, which makes Superman not as powerful as he normally is. Or you know what? Superman faces off against somebody in which the hierarchy of the DC universe will change. Black Adam and all his magic users. You know, there you go. Another weakness of Superman that's being exploited. Now he's not as powerful as he normally would be. As the age old saying goes, you know, just think outside of the box. If you can write Superman comics and make them good, if you can make Superman movies and make them good, if a Superman CW show can be good, you bet your bottom dollar that a Superman game can be excellent. And fine, let's say that there's no villains that's going to expose any of the vulnerabilities that Superman has. Let's say you're just going to be an overpowered Superman in this game. You really wouldn't want that? You wouldn't want the power fantasy of playing as a literal god Superman, flying at the speed of light, tearing through any enemies that are in your way? Seriously? I don't know, man. I don't know. You do you, okay? But when that Superman game comes out in a couple of years and you don't want to play it because he's too overpowered, I'm going to just enjoy it. And with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. Based on David Zaslav's comments there, do you think that a Superman game is coming? And do you believe that it's currently in development? I have a sneaking suspicion that it is. And I feel like at some point we're going to learn more. Maybe after that Wonder Woman game or maybe when the marketing starts ramping up for that Wonder Woman game to help us get hyped up for for the DC world in video games. They're gonna announce that a Superman game is on the way as well. And the last question that I'll pose for you guys is, who do you want to be developing that Superman game? I think the easy answer is Rocksteady, but also I'll challenge you and say, if it's not Rocksteady, who would you like it to be? Don't say Insomniac, come on. There's more than two studios making superhero games right now. And with that being said, I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.